hello. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my broadcast on the day one BOGOs. They are Pettigrew and Lavender. There they are. And let me tell you about them. A few things uh, close to my heart about these two. Um, they're known for their properties of calming and relaxing and helping. And I personally use both of these often. So you're going to hear first my little input and then I'll give you a little bit of what the books say about it. But um, this one is what I use most commonly. And the reason being is um, it's known for to do so many things. It's called the Swiss Army Knife of Oils. And this oil in particular has been most helpful for me because I cook a lot. Um, I'm a bed and breakfast hostess here in Alaska and I'll often find myself tapping the wrong thing at the wrong time and getting these little burn marks on my arms. And as soon as that happens, I'll put a little bit of lavender and put it straight under the water and that burning feeling, it will be diminished by lavender. Um, it's most commonly known for um, the peaceful, calming capabilities of it. But that is one way that I use it often. At nighttime, I'll often use lavender on my pillow for help with sleep. And I'll put it in my diffuser as well. It's really a great, great oil. The Swiss Army Knife of Oil. Okay, now I want to tell you about the Pedigrin. Because this is what we consider in the world of essential oils the man's lavender that's right the man's lavender so it doesn't have a floral smell it comes from the leaves of the bitter orange and it has this i want to say it's fruity and woodsy at the same time it has this really almost grassy kind of has a a really nice smell to it um i use this one often and the reason why i use it often is um when this came out in 2017 there were these big boards at convention and one of the things it said on it was this is a cardiac support oil and i'm like oh well not only is it peaceful and calming but it's a cardiac support oil this is the oil for me so I went immediately, my father, who's had some heart issues, I went immediately and made him his roller bottles with Pettigrin and um, a few other oils mixed in. And then I did it for myself too. And I still, every day, will roll it right over my heart area. And I don't want to miss a day. That's how much I like it. I really feel as though this oil helps with comforting and it also helps me feel like everything is circulating well. Um, so that's how I'll word that. But one thing you want to know about both of these oils, you guys, is that um, even though I gave you names, Swiss Army Knife and the Man's Lavender, right, um, I will tell you that both of these have a lot of the similar qualities because they both have linalool and linalool acetate in them. So they have antibacterial properties. They have anti-infectious properties. They are also very anti-inflammatory. They're antiseptic. The, um, I, this one, oh, I used this the other day. My husband was out on the water here in Alaska across the way and he didn't come home and it was dark and I got like this nervous tension going on. If you get nervous tension and it affects your digestion, I won't go any further in any further details, but if it affects your digestion, this is the one to rub on your belly. It Immediately I was feeling comforted. So it what, didn't take long, but... Um, I do get a little bit of nervous tension. If you're the type of person that gets nervous tension in their digestion area, um, this is a great oil as well. Okay, so they both affect your hair. So let me talk about this one. If you have oily hair, this is great for oily hair. You can just put a drop or two in your shampoo before you shampoo up and you're gonna notice a difference for oily hair. And this one is great for um, hair loss. So if you're the type of person that you know you're starting to lose some hair, you're going to want to do the same thing I just described because this is a helpful one for that. There was something else I wanted to tell you. Let's calming. Oh, depression. Anyone who's suffering from um, areas where they're not quite feeling happy, let's just say that both of these together are going to be your friend. Not to say that you're... Um, 
that you don't need to do anything you're already doing, of course, do it. But you can add this to your life and it'll be a big help to you. So let's just put it that way and let it drop. But last thing I wanted to talk about, and I think this one, um, uh, oh, quiet and fuzzy. I think my phone might be going out because it's been that way lately, huh? Um, last thing I wanted to say about um, lavender and pedigree is to tell you a little bit about their emotional values and I get this from the emotions book and I just let you know right away that lavender is for um, uh, the oil of communication and calming and there was one sentence in the very back or maybe I'll just read this little paragraph real quick it says lavender encourages emotional honesty and insists that one speak their inner thoughts and desires as individuals learn to communicate their deepest thoughts and feelings they're liberated from their self-inflicted prison it is through open and honest communication that an indivi individual has the potential to experience unconditional love acceptance and peace of mind through av through lavender's courageous spirit one is free to share their true self with others so again this is lavender it is a helpful aid okay and then I wanted to discuss Pettigrin because it's an interesting one, especially because this year I went and got myself an Ancestry.com um, Ancestry account and I started to look up my family roots. Did you know that Pettigrin is the oil of ancestry? That's right. So if you're looking into how you do the things you do or why you do the things you do, you may be wanting to try to use Pettigrin um, at that time so that you can discuss it and think about it in a way that you'll be receptive either for change or acceptance just for uh, what it is what it is so um, at the very end of this pedigree oil of ancestry paragraph it says this it says pedigree reminds individuals that through accepting their ancestry they can find peace clarity wisdom and empathy for their own journey through this life so there's my little talk on on pedigree and lavender if you bought one today which is the pedigree right here if you buy that it automatically puts in your cart a lavender and you get two for the price of one I mean how sweet a deal is that that is so cool all right you guys I love you thank you Nikki for letting me know it's it's quiet and fuzzy I hope after all you I hope it can somehow get better I'm gonna try to work on cleaning my camera here on my iPhone and maybe that will help. Um, God bless and take care you all. Bye for now. See you at day two.